Well, it's been a while since we brought the Wednesday Raps to you. And joining me in the studio, it's a very good morning to Rob Doyle. Good morning, Barry. Good morning, listeners and viewers. Well, as you can see out there, the road is very slippery. Let's take a look at it. Yep, a lot of water lying around everywhere, Barry. And more to come. And there you see the grey skies. Now, now then, today on the show I'd like to talk about staying safe on the on the road over the eastern break and here's Rob to tell you about yeah. this now once again Barry your uh, your timing is impeccable because uh, Easter is fast approaching and it's a pretty good break for the kids school kids this year there'll be a lot of people going away because the Easter public holidays uh, in the middle of the school holidays and we end up at the end with Anzac Day too so it's a good break people are going to be doing a lot of driving and they have to remember to take care in every respect don't rush don't hurry if you're going to be late just be late it's not worth the possible consequences of rushing and don't bring triple zero unless you have an emergency we discussed that in January so if you're going to be stupid enough to tie up emergency services over the all important break well all I can say to those of you out there you have to face the consequences because as we said there are other numbers you can call, such as a visiting doctor or one free sick. And I'm sure my outside of Rob would agree on this. Yes, I agree, Barry. Just going over there to the emergency numbers that you have handy there, they're only for emergencies. And, uh, and we'll keep bringing them that same message time after time, won't we, Barry? And if you ring that number, if you haven't got an emergency, there will be serious consequences. You stand up in front of the judge or get a big fine, and here's Rob for this. Yeah, and, um, but the most important thing is the possible injury or death that you could cause if you don't obey the road rules and just slow down and quite often when you're speeding you know you'll speed past someone that's keeping you and then there'll be someone else and you just can't keep doing it and in the end you might just get to your destination a few minutes earlier or say if it's a long trip maybe half an hour earlier at the most and what what's that you know it'd be much better just to drive safely and get there all in good time and um, we all know that we love to go away over the Easter break and travel on the road, but some idiots, they just rush and rush and rush. So the message that we, Rob and I would like to give to you this morning is please slow down, don't rush, it's not a racetrack. It's not as if you have to get there in an hour to attend a church service. If you are going to be late, be late. Don't rush. You have the one life, everybody. So for goodness sake, don't waste it by doing something stupid. Here's my outsider. Barry, I cannot add to that passionate speech you just gave then. It's, um, if people don't listen to you and me about these things, 
then they deserve the consequences and hopefully um, no one is also um, involved but they can just spend time in jail, lose their license, whatever it is. And, and, and please, if you are tired, pull over, pull over and stop. Please, we cannot say this enough on our program. Here's Rob now. That's right, Barry. You know, it only takes um, 10, 15 minutes rest and that will really refresh you. I remember one time I was driving up to the northwest of New South Wales, very tired, falling asleep, pulled over, had a nap for about 15 minutes and felt very refreshed, drove the rest of the way feeling great. So it doesn't take much just to refresh yourself. Pull over, you know, one of those many stops that come along the way, have a cup of coffee, do something, but just don't drive when you're feeling overly tired. Okay, well, just before we go today, you stay like saving drawing to a close um, on the 1st of April. So please wind your clocks back on one hour. So instead of it being 20 to 8, it will be 20 to 7. And as you can see out there, the sun is creeping through, but it's very overcast conditions. So just reminding you all, before we go today, please take it easy on those roads out there. The roads are very slippery, as Rob and I have just mentioned. And here's Rob now. Yep, uh, it's been a good Wednesday morning wrap, Barry. You've been on song with all your suggestions and your uh, advice for people, and uh, I totally occur, uh, concur with you. And I wish everyone a happy day and uh, good morning, and uh, back to you to farewell, Barry. And uh, just before I go, um, I'd just like to say. Thank you to the viewers for being patient. Um, I'm sorry for not bringing you some new videos, but this has been the first one in a little while to the sickness. And here's Rob now. Yes, and uh, you're on the men, Barry, and uh, I'm back in the swing of things. And I'm looking forward to 2017. We're well into it now. The days are just rolling by so quickly. Middle of March already. Before you know it, we'll be back into spring and uh, looking towards Christmas. So take care, everyone. Have a good day. And the last thing that Rob and I would like to finish up on is... Don't stay home because you feel like it. You cannot do this sort of thing unless you are really unwell. Here's Rob now. Yep, spot on, Barry. You know, just uh, if you if you're genuinely sick, don't go to work because you'll only spread that sickness around if it's a virus or a cold or something. But uh, yeah, uh, tough it out. And uh, if you're not if you're not sick, just um, you know. Tough it out and get get up even if you're feeling tired and get to work. I'm sure it'll all work out for you and, and you'll feel better for it at the end of the day. don't waste resources either because we do not have the resources here for residents that are not sick enough to go to work. So please be mindful of this. We cannot say this enough and there is a school kid just walking by there we just missed him just missed him did we Barry? so from me Barry Fair and Rob Doyle we wish you a very good morning take care on those roads and have a, 
I'm, I'm positive mental attitude and we'll see you next time. Good morning everybody.